So you speak about you know, the open source era, you speak about autocratic leadership in the same breath. Yes. But aren't uh, open, source, open source systems and um, movements leaderless? I mean, you want to talk Say about... Say that again. Isn't it leaderless? We live in this open new source era. System. Yeah, open source systems, aren't they leaderless? Isn't that the point? It's, that's a great, great, great question, which is that open source by its very nature is leaderless. The Linux system, uh, as opposed to a Windows system or an Oracle system, is open source and there is no leader. Hobbyists anywhere in the world can, can, can create updates, right? And nobody and everybody maintains the Linux system. The uh, Arab Spring, there was no clear oh. leader. Open source movement, right? Cryptocurrency, we don't even know who created it. Is that guy, that, that, that Japanese name, one so person of one people, we don't know. Right, so, hang so, on. So, sorry? You're right. We don't know who started blockchain right. or Bitcoin. Bitcoin. So, where then does autocracy, in terms of leadership, as it relates to that, come into it? Or is it only for those who use it thereafter? So that's what I was coming to. So it sounds like whether it's Linux system, whether it's movements like the Arab Spring, whether it's cryptocurrency, these open source phenomena are leaderless, right? And then uh, her question is, why are you talking about not just leadership, the need for leadership, but that to autocratic, strong leadership, right? It's a very legitimate question. When I, when, when I, when, as I think about this, initially it sounds like they are two totally opposites. But as you think deeply, you realize well, that open source systems, open source movements fizzle out. They absolutely don't last. The only time Linux, right, was, is, has been around since the 1990s, correct? What's the market share of Linux? 4%. Right? And the, even to get from 0 to 4%, it happened when a company called Red Hat said, we will be taking care of all things Linux, pay us right. a fee, don't buy the free system, don't take the free system, pay us a fee and we'll bring you all the updates, we'll bring you all the support. When they filled the leadership vacuum, that's when it got some, some, some traction. Arab Spring, what happened five years later? You have even worse dictatorships in certain countries, it fizzled out, right? And why after 10 years have cryptocurrencies not taken off? Because of lack of trust, because of lack of leadership maybe? So in the open source era actually, you need more stronger leadership than in but order. it just depends on who defines that leadership, who defines who becomes the leader. Sure, sure, it's the people who decide who becomes the leader. Well, you have to earn the right, remember? 